It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. Here to talk about the fully illustrated version of the book, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, I'd like to welcome artist and book illustrator, John Rocco, and returning guest, author Rick Riordan. Hi, Rick. Hi, John. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. It's a pleasure. So um, I want to start off first by saying I was really excited to be able to interview both of you because I'm a very big fan of uh, Percy Jackson. Rick, I don't know if you'll remember, but the last time you were on our show, I couldn't stop talking about him when we were actually supposed to be talking about your, uh, your other book on the last interview that we did. That is okay. <laughs> so, um, Rick, you know, some of us first became familiar with your stories after watching the mm -hmm. Percy Jackson films. Right. Now, the way they portrayed your characters and your story, was it the way that you pictured it in your mind when you first originally wrote Percy Jackson? Well, I think you always have to treat books and movies as two different things. They're, they're completely mm -hmm. different storytelling mediums. So I think, um, you know, any, any time you try to get too fine a comparison, uh, you're probably going to end up being disappointed. Uh, with that in mind, I have to say I never watched either of the movies. I, I know the wow. scripts. But uh, it was real obvious to me from the scripts that it was going to be a different experience. And so I just mm. said, you know, it's probably better for me just not to even go there um, and let the books be the books and let the movies be the movies. So. And, you know, it's funny that you say that is because a lot of your fans, you know, a lot of them feel the same exact way. In some cases with your books, the movies just don't do them justice because the books go more into detail and they're just they're total, a total different entity. Now, um, you know. As I said, you have a lot of fans who are very fond of your books. What's the best comment that you've gotten from a fan regarding your work? Oh, wow. So many over the years. I think the general type of comment that I love the most is when someone says, I didn't like reading until I picked up your books, and now I can't stop reading. I'm, I became a reader because of the books. Anytime I hear that, I'm happy. I feel like I've, I've done my job. And now, John, you've uh, you've done the illustrations for the, uh, Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. Um, have you always done book illustrations? Uh, no, I I worked as an art director for many years uh, in entertainment and theme park design wow. and things like that. Um, so I started illustrating books uh, about the time The Lightning Thief came out, actually. That's amazing. Well, how did you become the illustrator of this book? Uh, the illustrator of, of this illustrated edition? Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. Yeah. Because I've been doing the covers for 12 years now yeah. for all of yeah. Rick's books. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, we decided that we wanted to do uh, sort of my vision of the Lightning Thief story, the classic that, that started this whole adventure mm -hmm. that we've mm -hmm. both been on for a long time. Um, and and it was such a thrill. I mean, you know, as you were talking about the movie, everyone has a different vision uh, in their heads of, of what the story is and who these characters are. And that's the beauty of, of a story like Rick's is everyone can put their own imagination onto it. Um, and it's been done as a play and it's mm -hmm. been done as a graphic novel. And, mm -hmm. and now it's an illustrated version that, that was my vision of the book. And it was just thrilling to work on. Now, Rick, why create an illustrated version of this book in particular? Well, I think, as John said, it really is where everything started. It's the first Percy Jackson story, so it's the gateway into his world. But the illustrated edition is something that a lot of readers have been asking us for. Um, it, mm. is, it is a big, beautiful book that really is meant for family sharing. It's the sort of thing that if you grew up with this series, um, or you have younger siblings that are just getting into it, or even kids of your own, you can sit down with them and turn every page. And it's like being 
in the adventure all over again, but, but with even more color and even more excitement. And it does create a lot of dialogues about, did you think the character looked like that? Or did you know the monster was that scary? Uh, there's a lot of great stuff that comes out of an edition like this. Do you do you foresee yourself creating more illustrated versions of any of the other books that you've written? It, it's something I would love to see. It really depends on how people react to this one. If they uh, if they take it up and get really excited about it, and early indications are that they do and they are, uh, then I would love to see more of them. Yeah, they're great. And I would like that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just going <laughs> to mention that. John, are you in on it? Oh, yeah. Are you ready for it? I'm down. I'm down. It's so much fun. <laughs> well, you know, speaking of which, um, what made your experience working on the illustrations for Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, what made this experience so unique compared to anything else that you've worked on? Well, you know, I grew up reading a lot of the classics and the versions that I read were the Scribner's classics, which were illustrated uh, versions. They, they usually had eight to 10 paintings in them. And it was always kind of a treat when you got to that painting, um, uh, whether I was reading Moby Dick or uh, Kidnapped or Tale of Two Cities. And so for me, being able to create one of these books, you know, based on such a classic story as The Lightning Thief, um, was a thrill because the the people that painted those pictures were my heroes um, you know and so uh, f walking in their footsteps a little bit was was just uh, a great pinnacle of my career as an illustrator which chapter did you enjoy working on the most Ooh, um, I, I I would have to say you know towards the the climax when the action was happening. I think that's you know. I mean, there's action throughout the entire book, but there yeah. there there is there is this climactic yeah. moment in the book that that I got really excited about painting. And um, there's so much that happens in the mm -hmm. water, and I love painting water oh, for yeah. some reason. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so uh, you know that that's n something I'm naturally drawn to. Yeah. And he nailed it too. <laughs> the scene he's talking about. <laughs> And uh, Rick, as far as the characters go in this in Percy Jackson the Lightning Thief, um, do you have a personal favorite? Well, I mean, obviously Percy being the main character, he was loosely yeah. based on my own son. Uh, but you know, except for Percy, uh, probably Grover Underwood, the satyr, simply because he's so funny. He's always the comic relief, mm. but he's also the heart of the book. Uh, so I, I have a special mm. affection for him. Now, uh, before we wrap up, um, like I said, you, you do have a lot of fans out there, and actually one of them is including my, my nephew, Grant. I actually, I just recently visited him, and he had your books, he had two of your books in his bed, so he's been reading at nighttime, so it's, it's just, it, it was really exciting to see that. Um, his fan question is, where did you get the idea for your stories? Well, Grant, great question. The, uh, the first story really was, uh, as I mentioned, for my son, and it was a bedtime story. Uh, my, my son was struggling in school when he was about eight years old, had ADHD and dyslexia. So I created a character for him, Percy Jackson, who also has ADHD and dyslexia, as a way of showing my son, you can get through this. You can be a hero, too. And so that's where the whole thing began. Well, wonderful, wonderful work to the both of you. And, um, you know, after this book, I'm very much looking forward to seeing more, possibly, huh? Fingers <laughs> crossed. Let's hope so. All right. Well, thanks again. That was uh, Rick Riordan and John Rocco, Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. Thank thanks you Thanks so again, much. guys. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.